Mizzy's victims will never see justice. In fact, they get to sit back and watch as he builds a career out of his criminal actions and make a lot of money down the line as well. Now, Mizzy has started to appear on a lot of news outlets for interviews, like the BBC being the most recent one, where he most likely got paid a lot of money for that, and he now has a Twitch channel which he's also making money out of as well. He's already managed to achieve Twitch affiliate, which once you've got that, people can sub to you for a monthly cost, and he also has donation links in all of his social medias as well, <clears throat> which in my opinion is quite depressing. The UK police have failed to do anything, and also the UK justice system has failed to throw them behind bars, which is just really sad and depressing, the fact that he has actually assaulted people and terrorised the people of London. He's getting away with that, and now he gets to make a lot of money after his criminal actions going forward. Now, <clears throat> He's shown a video of his streaming setup, which is a pretty fancy gaming laptop with a Logitech Brio 4K webcam because it's the exact, the exact same one that I've got. A really good microphone and other bits and bobs as well. And he's also stated that he wanted to build a much more fancier high-end gaming setup, but he just couldn't at the moment because he's not got the time to do so. So with you know all this money to get all this equipment, which is like easily over a thousand pounds, probably fifteen hundred quid, he's, and he's unemployed. He's getting the money from somewhere. He honestly, he's. he's it's from the interviews, it's from his donation lights and also from the fact that very soon he's going to have subs active on his Twitch channel going forward and it's, as I said, it's the fact that he's went unpunished by the law which he should have received jail time and again he gets to make money out of it, it's just absolutely sick and disgusting. Also when you think about it from the aspect that we've learned that he's only 18 and he's got a child to his name and I don't think the mother's around and he's been trying everything in his power to get arrested which would leave that child as an orphan and he's also admitted in that BBC interview that he grew up without a father and he's trying to do the exact same thing to his own child. Again, just absolute beyond scumbag behaviour and again he's got a target on his back, the largest one in the UK and he's putting his child's face out there to the public on his Twitter. Again, extremely dangerous in my opinion. <clears throat> I think he's going to end up promoting, you know, crypto pump and dumps and NFT scams and other uh, scams and other things going forward as well. And I think I see a, a, a kind of a connection where he's going down the same path as what Logan Paul did. Logan Paul made himself out to be the villain for such a long time up until the point where it was actually going to backfire with zero chance of recovering from it. He painted himself as a good guy. People kind of forgave him. And once people's guards were dropped, that's when he started the crypto pump and dump. And same with NFTs going forward, like CryptoZoo. For example, Mizzy will do the exact same thing going forward. He'll end up promoting these scams going forward. He'll scam his audience, which again, they absolutely deserve it because if you support this guy in any way, shape or form, you deserve nothing in life, in my honest opinion. So you deserve to be scammed by this. And one of the biggest things that frustrates me, and I understand I'm going to be kind of petty and selfish what I'm about to talk about is there's people like me out there who really want a career out of being a content creator and live streamer. And like myself and others, I have put hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours into learning how to edit, which is not easy, and you know, Photoshop, spending hours upon hours and blah blah blah, so on and so forth, of recording, doing the exact same thing with editing, you know, making mistakes, recreating it, losing footage because editing software cr crashes quite frequently, having to redo that, spending hours. I mean, I've spent over a week on several videos on my YouTube channel. You know, you do all of that, you render it out, you upload it, you spend hours on different thumbnails, you pick your favourite one, you put it on that, you upload it and then you break the video down into little like YouTube shorts or TikToks, then you upload them individually and then you go live for four to six hours every single day, seven days straight. It is honestly the, one of the most like repetitive, stressful and just really mind fucking jobs out there in my honest opinion in terms of the entertainment scene at the very least I should clarify not as a whole but maybe within the entertainment scene <clears throat> it is really stressful to do it and as someone like myself who's been doing it for about three years and not seen too much progress going forward I find it really depressing on my end that he has been able to commit acts of criminal act, uh, criminal acts within the UK and he's not went He's went unpunished by the law whatsoever, and now he, um, these news outlets are paying him money, which is funding this, and he gets to spread his accounts, his, his social media platforms even more, and the social media platforms also are not banning him again, or just banning him for the first time, because he does not deserve this after assaulting people and scaring the living high hell out of his victims as well, and he's just getting away with it, and honestly, it's really frustrating seeing that I'm trying to be the good guy, I'm really trying to make content that's innocent, fun, entertaining for people going forward and he gets to basically spit in everyone's faces with his fingers flipped up and just shoot the queue 
baked money out of it and build an extremely toxic um, viewers, you know, a viewer base overall, which is just honestly just an absolute kick in the teeth. And it really makes me wonder why am I even bothering when people like that just get away with it and just get rewarded for evil behaviour. It really is just absolute beyond scumbag behaviour and I'm honestly so angry at it. I really am. It's just it's not fun whatsoever. But yeah, um, it, it, I don't know what else I can really go on about really. It's just overall, he's not being punished from the legal system as far as I'm aware. He's got a lot of money to his name and he'll earn a stupid amount of money going forward. Because the second a crypto pump and dump or an NFT scam approaches him, he'll just take that money and promote it. He is that type of person. He'll scam his audience. Who cares? You know, they deserve to be scammed. Um, he's just jumped the queue. He's managed to just do the most criminal acts, get a, a career out of it. And there's people like myself who, not just within the entertainment scene, who are just trying to build themselves to be self-employed as a whole. It's a massive struggle. It's a headache. It's really difficult. A lot of people fail doing so. And he gets to put in zero effort and just get it all and just spit in everyone's faces. It is just... It's it's just honestly sad. It on it really is. It's just zero responsibility, zero remorse. Doesn't seem to give a fuck and just laughing in everyone's faces. And it, it, it's and again, his victims as well just don't get to see any justice. It's it, it genuinely makes me think, what is the absolute point? What is the point anymore? It's why don't we all just become criminals if the police aren't going to do anything about it? It it just really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But yeah, I'll wrap the video up there. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. If you could like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We're almost at 800 subs. We're only seven away. Um, leave a comment if you agree or disagree or you think I've missed anything during this video. I would like to hear from you and also um, help me to share this video about. It would be greatly appreciated. And the next video will be on Monday um, going over Andrew Tate's interview with the BBC, which was an absolute hysterical joke. It was the funniest thing I've saw in a long time. That, um, what, what was her name? Lucy Williamson was sweating bullets during that. That was funny as anything. But yeah, if you want to go check out my other videos, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, my Twitter link will be in the pinned top comment. But yeah, I love you all. And as always, keep on rolling. Have a great day and a better week to follow. See yous.